Okay, we're back on and we're back live. And what we're going to do right here is going to show you how to install the Tomcat server. And we're going to, so as opposed to jumping right into Flex Spring or Spring Flex, uh, we're going to actually just pull out some of the Java pieces and work with them individually so you actually get a good understanding of what you're doing. And uh, we're going to walk through the steps of installing Tomcat. And this is the way everyone used to do it like 10 years ago. And then we're going to move on into something more detailed and show you how to do it with an IDE like Eclipse. All right, so let's go ahead and start with that uh, process. Now, the Tomcat server is an open source uh, JSP server, and you can actually have servlets on it as well. And so we'll discuss just a little bit today about what the difference is between a JSP and a servlet. And basically, a JSP is HTML running Java inside of it, like we did with PHP. And a servlet is basically Java running HTML inside of it, just the opposite. But when you serve those up on the Tomcat server, they all have to be compiled into classes and served up onto the web, and that's what the Tomcat server does. And it's free, so you can download it, so, but before we actually get the Tomcat server running, we have to first download the JDK. So in order to download the JDK, I want you to go to this address right here, www.oracle.com, and I'm not going to say the rest, but you can read it. So let me go ahead and copy that into my uh, bar, and go ahead and uh, run that for you so you can see where we're going. So go ahead and open up Firefox or Internet Explorer or whatever your favorite um, browser is, and paste that and paste that uh, into your URL, and go there. And uh, I'm going to go down here to Downloads and scroll down, and I'm going to hit the JDK. Now you've probably got the JRE, the Java Runtime Environment, running on your machine now, but you want to make sure you get the JDK on there because the Tomcat server needs that in order to run. So click on that. And uh, I'm actually going to want to select Windows, and uh, my particular system is uh, 64, and I believe that you early installed the 32, which is fine. So you're going to download one of those, and we'll just put I agree, because you're going to agree to everything, and you don't know what you're agreeing to, but you just click on it anyway, right? So, and then you click and download that to your system, and when you do, you have an executable to click and run. Let me go to my downloads and see if it's still there. So I've already done this, so I'm not going to do this again, but I'm going to walk you through the steps. And there it is right there. That's my download. So I'll click that and run that. And then I download and it downloads it. And so it puts it on my C drive somewhere. And that's in my program file. So I'm going to navigate. You know, so I won't click on it now. So if I clicked on that, it's a install. And I could go ahead and install that and run it on my machine. And uh, let's not do that. Let's get out of that. Because I've already done it. Ooh, I wish I'd not done that. And I'm going to cancel that, of course. And what we're going to do is go take a look where that was installed. So I'm going to right click here. Let me bring this down so we can see this. This installs in the C drive in program files in a folder called um, Java. And there you can see right there, JDK 1.6.0 underscore 23. You need to know that address because you're going to have to set that as the variable for the Tomcat server to grab it from. And that's going to be in the, the environment available called Java underscore home. So what we're going to do now is go and grab the Tomcat server. So you're done with the first part. You've installed your JDK. You know where it's at. So you're going to need that address for your environmental uh, variables. And now we're going to go get the uh, Tomcat server. So I put a little address here so you can go grab the Tomcat server. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go back to my browser and paste that in so we can actually grab And uh, here's my Tomcat server. And we're running, we're working with 6.0. So let's click on that and go down a little bit. And there's your install zip right there. Go ahead and click on that and send that to your downloads. Now I already have mine downloaded, so I'm not going to download it again. But let me click on that, cancel that, and go to my downloads and show you that I have the Tomcat server already downloaded. Okay, here's my Apache Tomcat server. And then what I did, I unzipped that. And when I unzipped that, I took all the contents from that unzipped folder. Let me see if I can find that. And I copied all that, and I put it on my C drive. Now, at this point, I have the liberty of putting it anywhere I want to on my C drive. I just need to name it and know where it's at. So let me just go back to my C drive. I'll explore there. And I'll explore, and it's coming down here. And where I put it for my particular one was I just created a folder called Java. And there's my Tomcat server right there. And I just pasted everything in there. Now, uh, you could... Alternately, just create a folder called Tomcat and stick it there as well, just as long as you know where it's at. Now, in order to run the Tomcat server, you've got to go to the bin drive. Now, you can do this from your C prompt as well, but let's go to the bin drive and just click on Start Up. Now, uh, it may not start up, and the reason it might not start up is because you haven't set your Java home uh, environmental variable yet. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. 
So I'm going to right click right here, go back to explore. All right, I'm going to go to my computer. I'll bring this up so we can see this now. Right click on computer and go to preferences or properties. And in properties, bring that up real quick. In that properties page, in your systems page, you see advanced system settings. Click on that. Go ahead and get continue. And in that, you see environmental variables right here. That's where you're going to set your Java home uh, variable. So click on that. And you see two boxes here. Now here's your class paths down here. Don't touch that, because if you do, you're going to be crying your eyes out if you mess that up. And notice it's, it's actually pointing to your Java JRE, OK? So you already got that running. But you need your actually your Java JDK running. And you're going to do that in the user uh, variables owner right here. And you can see I already set mine. So in order to do this, you have to hit new to create a new variable. Now, I've already done that, so I won't do that again. And then put the variable value, which would be the uh, path to the JDK. So when you do that, it'll set the first value, Java home. That's what you're going to call that. And here's that variable value, C, program file is Java, JDK, 1.6.0 uh, underscore 23. So now it's pointing right to the JDK. So when I fire up the Tomcat server, what the Tomcat server is going to do is going to look for that Java home right there, OK? And when it sees that, it's going to go back to the JDK, which it needs in order to run. If you don't have this set, your Tomcat server is not going to run. OK, good. And you've set all that. That's good. Once again, just to review that, the first would be you'd be typing here Java Home, right? And the next here would be the, actually the, the path that you're going to go to. OK, so you get that, right? So we're good. And then you'd hit OK, and you're done with that particular program. That's great. And you're, you're good. So once that's done, you're ready to start up the Tomcat server. So let's go and do that. So I'm just going to navigate to where the Tomcat server is. And once again, you could do this from the command prompt. So I find my Tomcat server, which is in computer, uh, local disk, Java, Tomcat, bin. And click on startup. Go ahead and run that. And you're going to see my Tomcat server is starting up. And I know it's successfully started because I can see it's running everything. Good, I don't get any errors. And you know it's running fine. And it actually took my Tomcat server 9,700 milliseconds to start up. Right there. So I know it's running. Great. And as long as I leave this window open, I'm pretty sure my Tomcat server is still running.